guys, I'm Candace Pelletier. Candace Pelletier Swimmer was actually born as a custom business and custom creations. And so it's really exciting to get to design something that's specifically made just for you. The difference in a custom swimsuit is it's tailor-made for you, for your body. So it's a, it's a special thing to get something made like this and we're really glad that you joined us and are figuring out and finding out about the process. I'm here to walk you through the steps, the measurement, the design, and the approval stages, starting with the measurement. The first step of the process is getting your measurements, and your custom measurements are gonna be a bit more extensive than your basic measurements. So starting with Catherine, my lovely model here, we're gonna go ahead and get the full bust. So if you'll just open your arms up, you wanna get around the fullest part of the bust, making sure that the measuring tape is parallel to the ground, and it's just going right across her back here. So you're getting across the biggest part here. And she's at a 35. Then you're gonna get the under bust, which is basically where the underwire would lie on your swimsuit or at the top of your rib cage is another good indicator. Again, you wanna make sure that the measuring tape is really parallel and she is going to be a 30. Just checking around the back, making sure everything is in check. Good. And then the over bust. And this normally determines your cup size, but we'll also get that from you as well. So the over bust is gonna go right across from the armpits. And she is a 34. All right. And then you're gonna go ahead and move downward. We're gonna get the fullest part of her bottom right above her hips. Now this is one you really wanna make sure is taut and is right above her hips but on the fullest part of her bottom. So she comes in about a 37 here. Then you're gonna get the high hip. Now the high hip is the bony part that we all have in the front and that's how you can kind of feel it. So Catherine, go ahead and point to your, yeah, your bones. <laughs> all righty. Good. And she is a 33 and a half. Great. So now that we've gotten those measurements, we're gonna go ahead and get her waist, which we would use if we were doing a one piece pretty much. And go ahead and get the smallest part of the waist. 27. Some more intricate measurements that we have is the rise. We're gonna take two measurements here, the full rise and the back rise. So the full rise, you wanna start where you want your swimsuit to hit. So it's gonna be in the center. This is gonna be where the lowest scoop of your swimsuit will be. So let's just put this on the tip of her pants for our purposes today. We're gonna to go ahead and take the measuring tape around and it's gonna go ahead and end where you want it to fall on the back. So I would say, we're gonna be about 21 and a half. This would be the lowest scoop. So that's her full rise. Thank you, Catherine. So now we're gonna do the back rise. And the back rise, you wanna start the measuring tape where you want the lowest part of the scoop and in the center. And you're just gonna measure down to the bottom of the cheek here. So it's gonna go right underneath and she's about an 11. We're gonna take a measurement that you'll need if you choose to design a one piece. And so this is gonna really go, it's gonna go in between your legs and it's basically going up to your shoulder and it's meeting them on each side. So she has a full girth of 60. Another specific measurement we may need is your back measurement. Catherine, if you'll just lift your arm. So basically this measurement is going to start at where the bottom of your bra would fall, right past the underwire portion. So let's say we start it right here. And then if you'll turn towards the back, it's gonna go ahead and connect over to the next side where your underwire would hit. And she is about a 17 and a half. And finally, we have the halter measurement, which starts at the top of the cup, goes around the neck, and it's gonna land on the other side. Catherine here is about 16 and three quarters. And our custom suits do have adjustable straps if you need them. If we need anything else from you, we'll be sure to contact you. Thanks so much for paying attention to the measurements because these are important. When we receive your custom inquiry, we will schedule a video chat to collaborate on your design. Our collaboration will include selecting your base style, your color choices, trim options, and again, we'll confirm your measurements.
Then we have the approval document here. You have the color swatches that we discussed, the trim selection. You'll confirm your measurements. Check out the sketch here, your top and your bottom. You can sign here, send it back, and we're ready to sew your suit. Thanks for checking out Custom Creations with Candace Pelletier Swimwear. We really look forward to working with you and collaborating on your dream design swimsuit. Thank you.